Welcome back, everyone, for another round of Subnautica with the FCS mods. Last time, at least I think it was last time, it's been a couple weeks, um, I went and got cured. I helped Big Mama hatch the babies, gave me the cure, but that's where I stopped. I haven't gone over that way again to shut down the gun platform or gone over there to the Aurora to unlock the Neptune rocket. And I'm kind of thinking I want to do that now because I want to figure out where the heck I'm going to place the rocket here anyway. I'm also noticing, for some reason, an FPS drop since last time. I haven't built anything else, but my FPS was going around 50 to 60. Now it's down to about 20. And I don't know if it's just something acting goofy, or maybe it's the fact that my power pylons keep disconnecting every time I load the game. Fortunately, it's easy to get over there to the gun platform. I just have to teleport to my solar farm. All right, inside with a big jump with that. I'm going to waste any tablets. I don't have to. And of course, grab a spare tablet while I'm here anyway. All right, control room. And just the one tablet, actually. Yeah, just go in through the submarine entrance and go straight up. Grab that tablet. You don't even have to worry about any others. And now we're going to press the magic button. Bam, there we go. A little force field. Trying to stab me thing. Like how my arm, like it's got it by my wrist, but like I'm able to move my arm enough to dodge the first two stabs. I, I don't think I, I think that would be uncomfortable for my wrist doing that. And now I got some spare tablets, so I just poke around the rest of the place. So, hey, you know, you shut things down, shut the facility down, the lights turn low, but the elevator still works. So the gun platform is shut down, which means, you know, now I'm, I'm just going to make it easy on myself. I'm just going to cheat and go, you know, look up the code so I can go ahead and get the, get the unlock for the Neptune platform. Let me just double check. I feel like I missed maybe a couple of spots while I was down here. Uh, at the least. I saw something. Yeah, I forgot some of the... Uh, well, I didn't forget. I just ran out of you know, inventory space. Some of the microscopes and such. Surprising you can't pick up those containers. Okay, spoiler time. If you don't know the code, you don't want to know the code, skip ahead. Two, six seven nine there we go open the door great all right pda and i go there we go last recorded transmissions you know honestly i'm thinking what if the neptune rocket is kept over to the side separate because of the potential for some disaster that could destroy the base so the rocket lands but you have like a sea moth or even a cyclops that acts as a shuttle to collect supplies and bring them over, things like that. Maybe we could just get away with the Neptune platform out this way. I'm going to try and make this as straight as possible to the existing base. I feel like I, I want it to be lined up which gets to be kind of hard to do with a uh, mobile vehicle bay that is very easy to knock around and have it turn the wrong way. Launch platform. And oh, I think I got it pretty straight, actually. Whoa. So I was, uh, I realized I needed to build my other Cyclops docking spots, you know, in the little lower level. And I ran out of titanium and I had actually looked at my titanium level for a, a couple episodes now. 566 titanium at the Dunes base. I, fair to say, I think I might have enough titanium for a while. You know, maybe it's the 500 something titanium that is causing some of the FPS loss I have. Okay, there we go. Three parking spots for three Cyclops. And mine is sitting a little high, but that's because it's been getting steadily higher every time I reload the save. 
I don't know why. It just keeps inching higher each time. It might be not physically connected. Like, you know, it could be to everything, but we'll have the moon pool. Man, that just like, yeah, having the habitat builder in hand, looking at the moon pool. See, my frame rate just dropped. Like, look at that. That's well, it's not great. Like, it's fine there if I'm not looking at the base. But as soon as I hover over something with the base, frame rate starts to grow down. Okay, way too much titanium coming from this base. Not enough everything else. So it's time to change my filter. Uh, let's see, we're on blacklist. Sand. Everything else. Even if it's a little more titanium, it's fine. But no sand. Gantry time. Yeah, there we go. And rocket boosters. Uh, fuel reserve. All right. Well, I am missing one part. Crystal and sulfur. And you know what? I might as well go on down because I've got more than a kyanite at the lava zone base. And I already know the telepower pylon is still disconnected. I haven't been down there to fix it. And once again, I cannot teleport because it has just enough power to occasionally turn the lights on because the power pylon disconnected. All right, solar farm and through the uh, alien or big containment center. Ah, I should have waited until he got away from here. Oh, yeah. Scan the alien structure while I wait for him to go do his thing. There you go. I'm coming after you. You can't get me if I'm right behind you. I, I think I kind of broke him. He just kind of sat there for a second and then decided he wanted to go. Oh, maybe he's like, he was waiting for the warper to get him out of here. Oh, his buddy is after me now. What did I do to you? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, going around the corner. Oh, yeah. What? Your fireball got stuck. He didn't get stuck. He's following me down the tunnel again. Did this last time and went through the wall on the other end. This is not supposed to do it that way. Will you get out of here. You're not supposed to be here. Go back that way. Whence you came, foul creature. Give me my FPS back. There, fixed again. Until I you know, reload the game. Finally, fuel reserve. Go! That should leave just the cockpit. <sighs> okay, I think I should have everything for this. And finally, the top piece. And while that goes, you know what? This looks nice on its own. It's nice and techy. But I can do better. I can add some colorful decorations around the area. Actually, I'm not even going to put it there. I'm going to go right in close. We're going to get this lit up right here. We got that right there like that. Actually, let's bring it back just a tad. Oh, yeah. Nice little subtle glow. Not overly bright. It, it's a little too bright on that part. It was just, you know, kind of makes it look washed out uh, luscious purple for now I'm gonna keep the rocket just the plain standard color so that it's a little bit more reflective of the light and you know I gotta see I wonder if I can actually place these somehow where it will light it up even more. It will place partially on there. Let's <laughs> see. Oh, yes. Building tweaks. I can place it actually on the rocket itself. What about down here? Let's see. 
Well, if we decorate down here or inside the rocket legs, actually, I'm afraid that might cause a problem when I launch it later. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not even nighttime. You can see the nice purplish glow coming from there. So I've got four, one in each corner of the thrusters. And then I've got in the lower section, one on each of the support struts. So I've got this nice under lighting and then outside lighting. Ah, I really wish we had like the floodlights, but a color capable version from FCS for that. That'll be a cool thing to add guys. FCS, uh, yo, a new floodlight <clears throat> with coloring options like we got with these. That'll be good because then I could put it in the corners and just light the whole thing up, make it look really colorful and you know, make them different colors, make it even more colorful. You know, colors of the rainbow be a good idea. I think you should implement that. I know there's an elevator already. <laughs> you know, it's there is part of the thing It's the whole gantry, but it doesn't go as high as I would like it to go. So I thought I'd at least try it. Of course, there's no power before that, though. I want to see if I can add at least a little more flair to this a little bit more of a flashy look whoa oh yeah right there. Oh, oh um let's see oh yeah i gotta place it down first for it to let me flip it right yeah okay click to rotate and ah uh, i liked it when i could just place it flat start with this this is gonna be a problem to find how to Get it to line up the exact same way. I think it's hard to. That's one. This one's farther over. Yeah, I'll go with red because, like, warning. You know, uh, point of no return. Uh, if this fails, you don't make it back. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Just so, a nice little bit of a contrast too, with some colored spotlights all lit up around it. I could even put up a sign that says, Welcome to Subnautica Land. Solar power is charging. Must be built on platform or base. This is a platform. A base platform. Foundation. And we're going to do the elevator. Let's go wait and see. Does it have power? No power. Okay. Uh, at least, you know, it's being sensible now. Not telling me that that's not a foundation. Not a base. I mean, it is. It holds a rocket. I'm pretty sure it can hold the elevator. And I'm just going to add one floor. I don't even know. You know, we don't even need to name it. We're just going to go, uh, say, 40. Yeah, let's just go up by 40 because I think that level is, I think that's like 20 and then they're 20. So, oh, a little too high. But I got a nice view. Look at that. I'm actually... I could probably walk onto the very nose of the rocket if I had built close enough to, you know, walk over and everything. Let's go up. Uh, I did not mean to delete the whole thing. I meant to click that. Let's go up. And uh, we'll just go halfway to maximum. Oh yeah. See my base. See how good it looks from 100 meters up. I'm actually taller right now than even the tallest point of the base itself. So I have not gone that high yet. There's the rocket. Ooh, you see all the way in right there. You see the seats and everything. You see all the stuff. And now up to 200 meters high, the maximum the elevator will go. I've already done this one time above the island. I now want to do it above all this stuff. We'll see how everything looks from 200 meters high. Still going. So this is the base viewed from 200 meters above water level. Or, well, 200 meters above the bottom of the elevator. And there's the rocket. You actually still see some of the purple lights. At least there. I see a little bit of the green there. I see like, yeah, it probably look a little better at night, to be honest. But, you know, at least I got this. 
And I just, I can't take the ride down. I'm just going to do a jump and hope I actually, yes, missed it. Oh, that was kind of close though. Well, that was fun. Got a nice view of everything and uh, taking all this out because that's just more stuff to take frame rate away. So now my base has the final major component, the rocket platform over to the side. Uh, I'll make like a little sea moth just for the transport stuff. I'll make some decorations for the cargo aspect. Right now, I'm trying to be a little bit more choosy because my frame rate has taken a very significant hit recently. But, you know, for the most part, I am pretty much ready for whenever FCS is finished with their mods, got everything tweaked, got the rest of this base finished up, and actually already set to finish the whole series with the actual normal ending. Just have to launch my rocket. But for now, that's it for this episode. So if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Leave me a comment if you have suggestions for stuff around the base, tweaks, and visual adjustments you would like to see. Post it in the comment below, and I'll see if I can incorporate it. And again, that's it. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.